it was just the best thing for me and my family to take in a couple extra weeks, um, finishing up a renovation in, in Florida and um, it felt like the best thing for me to, to mentally and physically prepare was, was spend a couple extra weeks with my family and then, you know, started phase two here to, to work with the guys on the field. Do you think there's a leadership element to the starting quarterback being here or do you think it doesn't matter? You know, I think, I think that it's important to, to get on the same page with the guys and that's what the, the spring is for, to, to reinforce the details that, and the fundamentals that um, this organization is built on. And, um, you know, we got plenty of time, a lot of, a lot of time to, uh, to be able to do that. We're able to kind of slow things down at this time of the year and, uh, and focus on the details. You know, we're doing that right now in the meeting room, on the field, translating it from the meeting room to the field, able to, uh, you know, talk through the details on all the, the reps with the receivers. So we're getting some really good work in right now and, um, you know, thankful to be here and have the time to do it. Did you consider optics at all when you're sending out social media stuff from the boat or up to 20 questions while guys are here together? Yeah, I'm, I'm working. Just because I was at home wasn't, was, doesn't mean I was, uh, you know, relaxing. You know, I'm working, I'm, I'm, I'm throwing, I'm, I'm running, I, I'm getting myself mentally and physically ready to go. I'm having uh, conversations with Todd, making sure I'm on top of all the information that, that the guys are, are, are getting. Um, you know, we've been through it the past couple of years of, of no off season, of, of kind of a shorter off season last year where I was just here for OTAs and, um, you know, I've kind of figured out that, you know, one one size doesn't fit all for for the offseason program, and I kind of know what I need to do mentally and physically to to get myself in the best position to to go in with a full head of steam into August and, and training camp and, and into the season. And um, you know, that's what that's what I do. How much social media parts off putting the fans who last time they saw you was the Cincinnati game? I mean that that's them let them be the judge you know i uh, I don't post a whole lot on social media um, you know some of the stuff that I did post was taken in March and April and and just put it up uh, in the, in that time so um, wasn't I think you may be referring to a post, Celsius post that that I was on the boat you know that was taken in in March you know I wasn't even on the boat last week so um, you know I think I think you read too much into that, and you can read read it how you want. But at the end of the day, I know I'm doing whatever I need to do to get myself, you know, ready to go, and, and communicating, get on the same page with my teammates, and get us all ready to go and, and win games in the fall. How much, how much, how much, how much does it... the playoff loss still linger with you and bother you? And do you, I guess, listen to any of the things that are said, you know, in terms of people wanting to? put the blame on you for that lo for that loss it's a scar it's a deep scar you know it was a, a lot of sleepless nights um, every time I closed my eyes I was I was uh, re-watching the game in my head um, didn't get a whole lot of sleep for for weeks and weeks after the game um, was in a dark place and it took me a while and a lot of work to, to get out of it you know it wasn't something that that went away easily man it's still a scar that, that I'll carry with me you know, throughout the rest of my life, you know, but just like a, a, a cut on your arm, you know, starts off as a wound, um, you're able to, uh, to heal from it and uh, it turns into a scar. It never leaves you, but it's always there and it can remind you. And now it's, it's fuel for me. It's fuel for me to, uh, to work and, and get ready with, uh, with a passion and come into the season with, with a fire and, um, you know, a desire to win like I've never had before. What's your reaction to losing AJ, who was your top target for the last three years? That one hurt. Um, you know, obviously, professionally it hurt. You know, top target, you know, heck of a football player, made big plays for, for us consistently over the last three years. Personally, it hurt. You know, AJ's a good friend, have a lot of um, great times, great memories on and off the field with him. Um, just not being able to see him, see him on a daily basis is, it's going to be different. It's going to be hard. Um, you know, happy to see him. You know, get get um, get what he wanted. But at the end of the day, it hurts, and it hurts. Do you know heading? Do I know that's where the relationship between the two sides was, was heading? I mean, you're close. Yeah, I was in communication with AJ. You know, kind of throughout the whole off season, and um, honestly, I I thought they were going to get it done. You know, I thought it was you know. 
everyone trying to play their leverage. It's part of the game, you know. Uh, it, you know, everyone's trying to get the best deal. The team's trying to do the best thing for for the team, and the players trying to do the best thing for the player. And um, just in my heart, I thought we were gonna have AJ here for a long time. And um, unfortunately, it, it didn't work out. You know, we had to do what what had to be done, but um, it doesn't take the sting away. You know, I think I was shocked. I, I. Uh, when I first found out, I'm like, you know, this isn't real. This, is, this isn't happening. It's a rumor. And then talked to AJ, found out it was real, and um, you know, slept terrible that night, and you know, kept thinking like it's just a bad dream. But that's where we're at. Super Bowl contender without him? Yeah, no doubt. I think we can be. You know, obviously, every every year is a new journey. It's a new opportunity to build a new team. We're adding new pieces. Um, you know, I'm excited about Traylon. A guy who you know has a lot of, of traits and characteristics that I think fit our team well. I had some great conversations with him, and uh, excited to add him to the mix. You know, I don't think we can mix the two of, of losing AJ and the pain. Let that take away anything that Traylon brings to the table. You know, and I told Traylon that. Um, yeah, I'm, I was tight with AJ. I am tight with AJ. Um, gonna miss him, but I'm also excited to add add Traylon and um, and what he brings. I think he has. Um, you know, a lot of things, like I said, who can, they can help us. And it's just a matter of, of getting them up to speed and um, getting on the same page. It's going to take a lot of work, a lot of effort um, from everyone involved, myself, coaching staff, Traylon, uh, and, and all the, the rookies. You know, it's not just Traylon. You know, it's, it's a bunch of a bunch of guys we've added, and uh, it's every year. It takes, a, it takes a lot of effort, intentionality, and time. But, you know, if we do it right, we'll be able to, to build a team and, and go win games in the fall. Did you first talk to Traylon, and do you do you see like similarities between his game and AJ's game, like yards after the catch, et cetera? Yeah, I text Traylon the night of the draft. Um, you know, didn't hear back from him. Ended up calling him the next day and um, and having a conversation with him, or or Sunday maybe, and having a conversation Saturday, having a conversation with him. Um, yeah, I think obviously he's big, he's strong, he's tough, he's physical. Um, you know, just talking to him, he's excited, he wants to work. Um, and that's kind of what this, this team, this organization is, is built upon, is, is we're going to work hard, we're going to have a, a specific mindset and take that to the field every time we touch it. So I think he kind of initially fits what, what we're looking for. Um, you know, only time will tell if we can really you know, get his best out of him and, and if he's going to uh, you know, come in and make the impact we think he can. And, and you know, did that come as a surprise to you? And, and you know, what have your conversations been like with with John and, and Mike, and I guess even Malik since then? Yeah, I texted Malik right after right after we drafted him as well. Um, yeah, I wasn't wasn't informed of that beforehand. But uh, same thing with AJ, right? The team's going to do the best thing that, that they that they think is is best interest of the team. And um, you know, I have no problems with Malik, and you know we're looking to add talent and and um, guys that can help us. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll add them to the room and, and go from there. You mentioned being in a you, sorry. You mentioned being in a dark place after the Bengals game. What did it take to get out of that, or it, or are you, sti or do you feel like you're still maybe in that dark place? No, I've kind of worked through it. You know, um, like I said, it's a scar that that uh, sticks with me, but. Um, Therapy, you know, talking to people, um, time, all of the above. Um, yeah, it was it was tough. You know, it was tough. You know, it's not not a situation you want to be in. Um, you know, you, you prepare so long and so hard to put yourself in that in the position to um, go chase your dreams and and to go out and play beneath the standard that I have for myself. Um, it stung, hurt, and. Uh, like I said, a lot of sleepless nights, uh, a lot of reflecting, rewatching the game over and over in my head. Um, but yeah, it took a lot of work to get through it. You know, it wasn't wasn't a day, it wasn't a week. It was weeks and weeks and weeks to uh, to to get through it. Uh, you know, a lot of sessions, and you know, at this point, I can look back at it, recognize it for what it was, and learn from it, and uh, and move on. Had therapy been something you'd done before, Ryan, or was that new after this? No, I've I've you know been doing that. Um, for a little while now, um, but definitely, you know, I think uh, this is the first time that it probably I absolutely needed it to pull me out of a, a dark space. Now that you're back 
with the team, working out how much will that also help the healing process, putting in those reps, getting back to work in that routine. How much are you looking forward to that and, and also kind of helping towards that healing process altogether? Yeah, no doubt. You know, I think, you know, as the offseason kind of went on and um, I started to get through those things, then, then we kind of go through free agency and, and you know, start to get that spark back, start to get that excitement, that energy back. Um, then obviously being here this week and, and being in the building, being around the guys, being on the field, able to talk through. Um, we have so many guys that, that are working hard and, and trying to absorb as much information as, as they can. So being able to, to coach them on the field and, and go through these reps uh, has really uh, been really good for me and I think all of us. So yeah, just carrying that spark with me, that, that fire with me that you know, I can I can think back to that scar that I got in January and and carry that fire with me forward. You talked to Robert Woods and what, what's a guy like that? Uh, him and Austin here for both bring to the team. Yeah, I'm really excited about Robert. Man, he's a just a good dude. Obviously, a talented player, um, veteran player. He's played a lot of football, uh, knows knows the game really well. You talk to him and you can just feel his passion, his energy. Um, you know, excited to to leave this and go watch tape with him. You know, after this uh, this session here. So. Um, a guy I'm looking forward to, to get to know even better, but you know I think he fits what we uh, what we're all about here, and a guy who wants to make an impact for us. You know, was your 21 season not as good as your 20 or 19 season? I think a lot of good, a lot of good, and a lot of bad, and um, a lot of things went into it. You know, it wasn't one thing or another. You know, we broke down all the turnovers and and what led to those, and um, it wasn't you know any one specific area that that really jumped up you know it was just you know a little bit here a little bit here then you add the sum and and you get the you know the big growth so um just taking a step back and, and reevaluating those things and um you know seeing where where i can improve upon going forward what are your thoughts on tim kelly and how much have you gotten to know him and what do you expect him to to bring to the passing game yeah i just met him yesterday you know been on the field with him a couple of days now um obviously a veteran coach who's been around knows the game really well um you can see, see he's coaching hard out there. He's, he's very involved in, in, uh, in what we're doing. So, you know, excited to have him on board. Uh, anytime you can add a good quality coach, uh, it's going to help you. So uh, we'll get to know him better as, uh, as the year goes on, but excited to have a, a veteran coach who knows the game and is going to help us. To tweak or, or you just kind of start the process? Yeah, we're just starting the process. You know, we're early on. You know, I'm here, second day here. So, um, you know, I'll get to know him better as, as the uh, – the offseason goes on, the year goes on. But like I said, excited to have a, another veteran coach on board. Ryan, what would you say to those who think you're not the quarterback to lead this team to a Super Bowl? I mean, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but I, uh, I have the utmost confidence in myself and, um, and know I have everything it takes. So um, I know I'm going to come, come this year with a fire and a passion, uh, like I've talked about, and, and um, attack this season and, and know that you know, I have to go play my best football in January. So, um, you know, like I said, everyone's entitled to their own opinion, but I have the utmost confidence in myself. You know, I think my teammates have confidence in me. And so uh, at the end of the day, that's all that matters to me. Obviously, you negotiated everything you could, your reps did. And the restructure that will put you with the highest cap number in the league, which is one of the things that kind of handcuffs things like signing A.J. Brown. Is that kind of a complicated thing to be in the middle of financially? I mean that was done. That was done last year, and uh, you know the deal was done three years ago at this point. So, um, you know, I, I don't overthink overthink that type of thing. Um, you know, it, it kind of is what it is. You know, you look around the league, and and um, every every guy is trying to do do what's uh, what's best for him, and every team's trying to do what's best for him. So, um, I don't overthink that. No. In your career, from injuries and what happened in Miami, the trade and coming here, but but this is kind of the first time you've really faced it here. What made it so hard compared to what you went through earlier in your career, and do you feel more pressure now coming into this season to, I guess, prove yourself all over again? Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to prove myself. You know, I have a um, a personal desire to go win. And at the end of the day, that's. That's what fuels me is, is my personal desire. I love winning. I, I love competing with my teammates. I love the work that goes into preparing and uh, the payoff you get when you do win, you know? So that's what I'm gonna, that's what I'm gonna do is attack every day like I, like I always have with a little more passion, a little more fire and um, excited to, to go out this season and, and uh, play my best ball. The production is obvious. 
and ultimately probably his goal is to take your job. I mean, that's part of uh, being in a quarterback room in the same room. You know, we're we're competing against each other. We're uh, you know watching the same tape. We're we're doing the same drills. Um, I don't think it's my job to mentor him, but um, you know, if he learns learns from me along the way, then um, then that's a great thing. Without AJ, what are you missing in terms of energy and emotion this year, too? Yeah, we'll see. You know, we haven't completely formed our team, right? We're still waiting for a bunch of guys to get here. Um, we added some new pieces that, that are new, and, and we're just kind of figuring all that out right now. We have a long, long way to go, a lot of work to put in, and um, all that will start coming together with time. How contagious was his sort of energy and his competitiveness, do you think? Yeah, AJ's a great guy to have in your locker room, right? He's uh, got that big smile, flash, best smile around. Um, got good energy about him and obviously played with a toughness and, and made big plays for us. So um, definitely was a, uh, a big contributor, and we're going to miss him. I don't know if you want to, to watch the tight end you guys got at Conquo, but a lot of similarities to uh, John U. Smith. Mm -hmm. If you have watched him, mm -hmm. uh, what are some of the things that you uh, like that he brings to the table? Yeah, I don't don't know him obviously yet, but you know, had a text exchange with him. Uh, watched his tape yesterday with Todd, and um, you know, as soon as he turned on the tape, I told Todd, man, this guy looks the part. You know, I don't know much about him yet, but the guy looks the part. You know, he uh, he's big, he's long, uh, looks strong, and um, you know, we saw saw a couple plays where he's catching a flat route, turning it up, breaking tackles. Uh, seems to be uh, strong hands. Um, so I like some things that I saw on tape. Obviously, you have to get him here and, and implement him into, into our system, but definitely has some, uh, some traits that have me excited. Are you happy with your contract and your status with the organization? <laughs> right now, I'm not worried about that. You know, I'm worried about you know, going out and winning games this fall. You know, whenever that comes up, that will come up. But, but right now, I'm just worried about um, putting myself in, in, in a position to lead this team and go win games in the fall. Yeah, as far as I know. <laughs> I mean, I, I you know, talked to him yesterday at breakfast, talked to him on the field. You know, I mean, um, you'd have to ask him. But from my, my point of view, it seems like a good spot.